Hello, everyone. This is just Father Nathaniel coming to you with your weekly Sunday homily from the airport, about to fly out for a little trip. Uh, but before going, I wanted to record a few words on this Sunday, uh, 24 Sunday, ordinary time. You know, most of us at some point in our lives work and we get a paycheck. You know, maybe it's for mowing the lawn, doing the paper route, going to work Monday through Friday, or whatever it might be. Uh, all that being said, you know, we all, we might earn $100, might earn $1,000, might earn $20,000, may earn $100,000 a year, whatever it might be, uh, some quantity of money. And yet, it's so small when you think in terms of billions of dollars, in terms of how much money you might make throughout the course of your life. Maybe for an average person, you maybe make a couple million dollars in your life. And, and it may seem like a lot of money. Well, today we hear in the gospel a very powerful message. We hear about the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, and a person like you and me who come before God uh, asking for mercy. We've sinned, we've hurt the Lord by choosing ourselves, by choosing to put someone else or something else ahead of God or ahead of loving neighbor. And comes before the, the king, and the king says you owe 10,000 talents. Now in the olden days, a talent was a huge sum of money, and it's the equivalent of about, well let's see, in 10,000 talents, it's the equivalent of about 2,460 years worth of work by the normal daily wage accounting. 2,640 years of work. And that's how much this guy owes the Lord. In other words, the Lord is saying, you know, there's no way, humanly speaking, you could ever repay me for the sins of your life. And yet when the person asks for mercy, God forgives him gratuitously, totally, without fail. My brothers and sisters, that's how God is to you every time you go to reconciliation, every time you humbly put yourself before the Lord and ask for pardon. What a great gift is confession. What a great gift is our sacrament of reconciliation that we can, though we owe 10,000 talents, impossible to pay back, the Lord is willing to forgive. Now there is a little bit of a second piece to this as you hear in the gospel about this guy who goes out and is not merciful at all to a guy that owes him only 300 days wages, a little, a little nothing. And that guy goes and strangles his fellow servant. This is a reminder, and we know that the Lord says, you know, you wicked servant, you weren't merciful like I was merciful to you and he goes out and basically is cast into the darkness. And he warns us that we need to forgive for, and keep forgiving the people in our lives that hurt us. My brothers and sisters, who do you need to forgive? The Lord is willing to forgive you everything. You can never pay back what you owe the Lord for your sins of pride, of vanity, of sensuality, of lust, of power seeking, of power trips, of selfishness. Uh, you can never, and your, and your lack of forgiveness, none of us could, I couldn't, you couldn't, and yet God is willing to forgive. Why are you holding grudges? Why are you holding hatred? Why are you not forgiving those slights that it were against you? Big or small alike, God forgives, you must forgive. He asks you to forgive. Let's ask the, for each other this day. Let's, Lord, give me the grace to forgive. You are so merciful. I owe you everything, Lord. Lord, give me the grace of a heart that forgives like you do. That's what we're called to be as Christian. Take care and God bless you.